everybody. I hope you've all had a great week. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is actually going to be a new series I'm putting out for you guys. Many of you that have been here for a long time are already familiar with my Houndsman Spotlight series. And in that series, I travel around and get with some of the most well-known stud dogs and competition dogs. And I kind of interview their handlers and their owners and get to know them and, and showcase the dogs for you guys. That way, if you're curious about that dog or if you want to hear that dog in the woods, you don't have to rely on images in a magazine anymore. You can actually see it and hear it in high quality video format. So it's good info to keep and it's good for the handlers. They can preserve memories of hunting with their dogs forever. And you guys can better educate yourselves on the type of dog you might want in the future. And if you're new here and you haven't checked out those videos, I encourage you to subscribe and check out the Hansman Spotlight series. It's pretty interesting. I have six episodes of that up already and I already have a lot more scheduled coming up in the next few months. But as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to focus more on pups and top reproducing stud dogs. So this series is going to be called the Reproducer Review Series. It's going to be similar to my Houndsman Spotlight series, except it's going to focus on the pups out of a stud dog to show you guys what type of pups that dog might be throwing. That way you guys can make a decision if you want to get pups in the future, if you like it or don't like the way they hunt. You can get to know the owner a little bit too. This series will give you guys a chance to actually see pups go out of well-known stud dogs. That way if you're interested in buying pups in the future, you can kind of know what you're going to get looks wise and how they sound and how they hunt. I already have a lot more of these videos playing too with some of the people I've already hunted with. It's a lot of fun going to get and see the best dogs in the world hunt, but it's also a lot of fun and very educational to get together with people who have pups out of those dogs and see what type of dogs they're throwing. So if any of that sounds interesting to you and you're new here, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out my other social media links below if you want to support me and help me continue doing this for you guys. So tonight's episode, which is episode one, I got together with J.R. Gray and a whole bunch of other people that you'll meet in this video. J.R. Gray, some of you are already be familiar with him in my Tournament of Champions video. He's actually the handler that won the 2022 Tournament of Champions. If you haven't checked out that video, I encourage you to check that one out. I covered the entire event for UKC, so you get to see what that was all about, and they were hunting for $250,000, and that was a pretty amazing event, so I encourage you to check that out. But that's not all J.R. Gray has won. He's also won a couple of world championships, and J.R. and his dogs have been competing at a very high level for quite a while. And tonight's video is going to feature pups out of his two-time world champion dog. That dog's name is Gray's Rackham Willie. That dog's actually owned by J.R. Gray and Levi Stevenson. So I'll just go over some of Willie's accomplishments and talk about his pups a little bit. And right now, Willie's pups actually have a little over $325,000 one. So pups out of him have been doing pretty well. And JR's dog, Conor McGregor, is actually out of Willie. So just to give you guys some background about Willie and list some of his accomplishments. In 2017, he was a UKC Performance Hound of the Year. In 2018, he was a UKC World Champion. In 2018, he was also the AKC World Champion. 2018, he was the AKC Made in America Tour Champion. In 2018, he was a PKC Top 16 in Kentucky. In 2019, he was a CHKC Reserve World Champion. In 2019, he was the PKC Reserve Kentucky State Champion. 2020, he made it into the top 10 of the UKC Winter Classic. He's made it to the PKC Pro Hunt semifinals multiple times. He's also made it to the finals of the PKC Pro Classic quite a few times as well. And these are just some of his major accomplishments. This isn't a complete list, but this is just an overview, guys, of some of the bigger things you would recognize. And then to finish it off, both 2020 and 21, he was a UKC Performance Sire of the Year. So that was just a little bit of a background about JR and Willie. We'll get into the hunt where I actually traveled to meet with JR and go hunting with Connor McGregor and five other pups out of Willie. So we took a total of six pups out that night, and all of them are out of Willie. So I hope you enjoy this, and you'll get to meet their owners and hear the story about them a little bit and see what they do in the woods. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm J.R. Gray, and this is uh, Willie's Connor McGregor. He's a two-year-old off of Willie and Abby. He's a UKC Grand Knight Champion 3. Uh, he's a PKC Silver Champion. He just won the 2022 UKC Tournament of Champions, $50,000 winner. And I'm Zach Norris, and this is Mill Creek Willie B. He's a three-year-old out of Willie and a Ronnie Hamilton's uh, Mud Creek Queen female. He uh, got in at the Super Stakes as a one-year-old. He was in the top 16 of Autumn Oaks as a one-year-old. Uh, he got in the top 96 with the TOC the first year they had it. He's a UKC Grand Knight and a PKC Silver Champion. I'm Steve Emery, Willie's little pet, the Knight Champion. Fool there makes Connor, he's got Willie and Abby. I'm Eric Emery, North Judson, Indiana. This is a Willie Scar baby. She's off of Willie and Emmy, Lane Denny's female. She hunts the spring one year old. We uh, won the pup extravaganza at Walker Days. Had some luck. She's in the top 17 for the Triple Crown race. Uh, playing on Grander, having some luck at the World Hunt in Autumn Oaks, and 
see where we go from there. She's owned by J.R. Gray and Ellis King. I'm Chewy Roberts. This is a Willie Switchblade. He's a Grand Knight and a PKC champion, owned by Ellis King. Hey, I'm Kevin Gay. This is my son Gunner, and this is Rackham Hank. He's a two-year-old Walker male out of uh, Willie and a Brown's Candy. She's a hardwood uh, patch and cane female. As I said, he's a two-year-old. He's a PKC champion, and they got a couple wins in UKC. Hope to make him a night champion pretty soon. So when did you start coon hunting? Uh, I guess I started when I was probably uh, around three or four year old. I mean, I messed with dogs pretty much my whole life. Uh, Exactly. I'd say probably I'd say probably three or four somewhere. Did you always have walkers or? No, I actually the first the first coonhound I can ever remember was a blue pig. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was uh, I can't remember. It was off of a world champion uh, UKC world champion, but I cannot remember what it was out of. He's a completely different style than what we hunt now. So who got you into coon hunting? Uh, my dad and uh, my my uncles. And then my papa, both my papa's coon hunting, and it's pretty much just been a family tradition, I'd say. Just a lot of pleasure hunting, or did you competition hunt for both? Or? Uh, well, my dad used to competition hunt a little bit. He'd hunt some local clubs, and he'd go to the state hunt or something every year. Uh, I would say my uncle probably got me into competition hunting uh, back around 2013, 2014. You know, I hunted some local clubs, and. Uh, but that was pretty much it. I never w really went to a big, uh, a bigger hunt until 2017. That's when I feel like I'd actually started competition hunting. Is that when you won the world championship? No, I won the world hunt in 2018. Okay. First, first big hunt I ever hunted in was the Autumn Oaks, and I got in top 16 that year, and I guess that's when I got to do it. Yeah. What was the first world championship? Okay, so in 2013, uh, I won the ACHA Little World Hunt. And then in 2017, we got the top 16 of Autumn Oaks. 2018, uh, I won the UKC World and the AKC World back to back. And then in 20, uh, 2019, we got in, we got second in the CHKC Little World. Okay. And then I guess you know, 2022 we got uh, the overall TOC champion. Yeah. What's the next big hunt you're going to be in? Um, I would say probably the next big hunt I'm going to try to go to would be the Roast Nearest Classic down in Lebanon, Kentucky. It's a thousand dollar entry and it pays out twenty five thousand. That's pretty good. You guys, I don't care. We want cut, James Richard. I'm going to be Chico's boat. Yeah, you ready? Hey, I'm Eric. This is Scar. Hang on a second with me. I've got a thing bug in my mouth. Steve, we're packed. Okay. I'm JR with Connor. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Ready? Yep. Cut. Pretty big jam on this picture. Huh? So I've been digging for a bug in my eye.
First dog tree to coon, we're walking in the score with the other two now. So far, our first two dogs each had a coon. Walking to the third dog right now. All three dogs treed and all three dogs had a coon. Four two now. Chewy. Okay. Go this ahead. This one's Willie Switchblade, we call him Shy. This is Mill Creek Willie B. Tell him what you hunting there. That's uh Rackham Hank. <laughs> Turned another three dogs loose, treed three more coons, so that's six singles out of six different dogs. All right, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed that. I'll be getting together with them guys in the future to go hunting some more, so I hope you look forward to that. I know I am. It was pretty neat to see these pups go a perfect six for six. All split and had coon, it was pretty neat. So if you're enjoying videos like these, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my links below if you wish to support me and help me out to travel around and get together with some of the best dogs and handlers there are. And for those of you who've already been supporting me, I really appreciate your continued support. And one of the ways you can support me, I actually set up a Patreon page. And if you become a member of my Patreon page, you'll get access to exclusive content, like some behind the scenes footage. I'm also gonna do live Q and A sessions where I can talk to you guys directly and answer any questions you might have. I'll introduce you more to my dogs and share some of the upcoming stuff I have planned. That's also where I'll post any of the new content I'll be coming up with. That way you guys can kind of see what my schedule looks like. You can reach out to me on there and contact me with recommendations about content and videos you'd like to see. So it'll be more of an interactive experience with you guys. You can see some of the behind the scenes stuff. 
and get access to stuff that you'll only be able to see on there. So you should check that out too. And if you're still watching, I appreciate it. And thank you for support to help me do this. I think this is great entertainment for some older people that might not be able to get out in the woods and hunt anymore or new younger people that are just looking to get into it. So thank you guys for your continued support and also thank you to my sponsor.